Good morning. I know you guys can hear the vacuum in the background. My mom is vacuuming currently. Say good morning. Good morning. I was trying to get Chloe on camera before she started whining. I feel hot. Like I changed my outfit with my bottoms several times because I couldn't find anything I liked with this off the shoulder crop top. And your girl is just feeling a little plump. Why is my face pink right there? I tried to put on a little bit more makeup today. Christiana, say hello. Hello. And the background, let me put you down so I can show them what we got going on here. All right, so today is Chloe's little at home celebration for her birthday. Her birthday is actually Monday the 1st, but I will be working. So we wanted to have a little something today. Um, I should turn the light on so you guys can see more what's going on. It's nothing too much, but she loves it. Hold on. So she wanted Peppa Pig. So her dad had these party supplies sent over to the house. We just have the table um, cloth. My mom made these little bows with the streamer paper that came with the packaging. I tried my best to make a little streamer chandelier with some tape and my imagination. There's just some cups, utensils, napkins, plates, and candles, and that's it, right baby? And some of her presents. So um, it's just a little after 10. We're picking up her birthday, her Peppa Pig birthday cake from Walmart at 11. You'll open it in a minute. And then we're probably just gonna have some pizzas. You want Domino's pizza later? We'll do Domino's pizzas um, delivered here. And that's it. We're just gonna have, oh, I can show you her outfit. Look at that outfit, my mom got her. So this is her birthday outfit. It says, follow your dreams. Peppa Pig. Her little shorts. Let me see your shorts. Cute. And the shoes I got her were the ones I showed you guys in my last um, vlog slash haul from Old Navy. They are so cute. Little jelly sandals. And they match with her outfit. I love that they have those colors. The different shades of pink and the brown. Because it goes with a lot of things. And a lot of things that she has. Just a little ballerina bun for her hair today. Hey, stand up, baby. Do a twirl, a twirl so we can see. Twirl around so we can see your outfit. Spin. You're not gonna spin? No. Peace. Are you gonna be sweet today? No. Can you turn around for me? No. Anyways, you guys see it. She's being a brat right now. How old are you gonna be? My back is three. You're gonna be three? Yeah. Oh, don't do your shorts like that. How old are you gonna be? Three? Yeah, three. Oh, you're a big girl. Dance, 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 dance. No. You're shy today? No. Okay. We'll leave you alone. I haven't had any breakfast yet, and I think she's like too excited to eat, but we're gonna try to get her to eat something, and then we'll head out. It looks like it's gonna be nice majority of the day. It's supposed to rain just for like an hour this afternoon, supposedly, that's what it says right now anyway. I'm hot. I feel like I've been doing a lot of moving around. Now she wants to spin around after I've already asked her. Kids, never do what you want them to do when you want them to do it. So we're in the car again, but we're gonna go right by the house to check on the progress of a couple of things. And um, that's gonna be our first stop before we go pick up the cake at Walmart here in a little bit. It's so nice out, it's gonna be like 82 degrees today. So try to get a little footage in aside from the indoors today we'll try we'll see <laughs> all right so we just walk in the door literally don't mind the hair okay i'll open the plates and stuff in a minute i got her cake it's okay i mean it's a walmart cake first time i've ever got a birthday cake from walmart and it wasn't bad for 23.98 here it is it just says happy birthday chloe it's a one-fourth sheet cake and it's cute it's cute i'm gonna open the box and everything and she is so impatient i'll open it okay let's let's open the napkins and everything and i just ordered the pizza so it looks like it's just gonna be us here and i just ordered the pizzas and the breadsticks. we're gonna eat that and should be on its way here shortly i just ordered it before we got home and domino's is literally down the road and they're really quick so all right chloe let's wash our hands come on <laughs> all right you ready yeah. are you ready i've got everything set up oh excuse me pizza just got dropped off we've got some um bacon and jalapeno cheese breads i've never had them before they should be good 
Hold on, baby. Then I just got a cheese pizza. And then we got um, pepperoni, half jalapeno. So this should be really yummy. All right, birthday girl. Let's wait for everybody to get back over here. I'm going to try to play a movie. I'm trying to put on a movie for you. So we can eat, eat. All right. All right. I'm waiting on the fire stick. Okay, we're going to eat now. What does everybody want to drink? You want me to pour um, fruit punch? Let me put my stand on here. It's good. up from the birthday it was just overcast outdoors and the sun is in and out chloe just told me she wanted to take a nap in my bed not in hers but in mine as always sit there, Mama. i don't want to go to sleep sit i'll sit with you just a second i'm just going to leave the light off and talk to you guys a quick second in here Hi. um because I think she's really pooped. Like, she's been having fun playing with all her new stuff. And we've been watching movies. I feel tired just because I feel like I ate a lot. I had, like, three slices of pizza. Even though Domino's slices aren't, you know, big, wide, or long. Um, I had three. I had a small breadstick. And then I had a small piece of cake. Because you guys know, again, I don't care for cake. And it was really sweet. And then I had some fruit punch with my, you know, pizza and stuff. So... I'm still feeling the effects of that. I can't even hold my stomach in anymore. <laughs> so, she had a great day. That's all that matters. I have been also looking at reviews on different um, camera doorbells. Is that the right word? Doorbell camera. Camera doorbells, yeah. Like the Ring and um, Yuffie and oh, there's a few other. But I've heard like... That some of the lower end ones, well, like not, I won't say lower end as far as quality, but like some of the cheaper ones have better um, features to them than the Ring camera, which is like really popular. Obviously, everyone pretty much knows what Ring is, but it has like some better, you're going to have to like ha purchase a monthly plan to look at your um, footage playback and stuff like that. Whereas on some of the others, you, you know, on the Ring, you have to. But the guy did, that I just looked at, he did review the Ring Pro, which he said didn't have a rechargeable battery. Now, I did see a Ring 
camera that has like you can either use the rechargeable battery put in like regular batteries or you can hardwire it through the doorbell because they they do have one that has those options so i guess it just depends on but if any of you have one of those doorbell cameras and have a preference in one um or one that you think is not great please give me a heads up down below let me know what you think of which one whichever one you have um or have tried because that is an investment i'm really looking to make asap like that'll be like one of the first things i do to the place when i move i think i'm gonna do a little bit more research online about a few other things i want to get going closing date is fast approaching i still need to wait to hear from my lender and realtor about the official day to move in the lender did say they want me to move in right after closing but i need to know what they mean by like right after like the next day uh the same day <laughs> uh the next week because you know that's gonna make a big difference as far as what's going on here like my apartment knows I'm leaving um, but I need to know exactly what day there's a few things I feel like I'm gonna be doing last minute or like after shortly after I move in um, I'd like to try to get it done I like to, like the painting like the, it has new paint in, the, in all the bedrooms and new carpet but like the living room and the hallways have this um, color that I'm it's not bad, but it doesn't match anything that we have. You know, it doesn't match our style. It's like this, I know this sounds ugly, but it's not. It's like this um, light green. It almost has like a yellowish hue to it. It's really soft. And if I were to show you a picture, it wouldn't be accurate to what it looks like in person. So, I mean, it's not an ugly color. Like I said, it just doesn't match. Like I have a lot of grays and neutral um, colors and it just doesn't. It's almost like a canary, like a soft pastel -y canary color if that makes sense um so that i definitely want to paint i think i'm going to do like gray a light gray with white um trim so we're waiting on an estimate for that yeah you guys it's getting down to the wire i don't know what else we're going to do today it's supposed to be raining in a little bit actually i wanted to go outside some with her and her scooter but she looks like she's zonked out she's probably going to lay here until she takes a nap and she'll probably sleep for at least an hour hour and a half and i'm going to go look online <coughs> at some stuff like i said and i don't know i guess not too much else is going on today we shall see hey you guys so it is a little after eight chloe's up having some more pizza and stuff and um i'm waiting on my mom to get back she actually ran out to get some dinner um a lot I of places water. yeah you've got water be careful okay? okay a lot of places are still doing like family meals uh for the COVID thing so she went to go pick up some ACP meals for us. They're doing like four meals for for twenty dollars. Um, I've showed you guys a few weeks back. I went and picked them up too. And then you get like a bag of chips and salsa and stuff. So that's what we're gonna have. I'm so glad I called my groomer called me back today, and we're gonna get cookie in there a lot sooner. So she'll have a haircut. <clears throat> Like by next Sunday um yeah baby hold on one second I'm talking okay Ew. I wanted to just say something really quick I don't like to speak on negativity whether it's going on in my life or in the world outside I do feel like what you give attention to does thrive but unfortunately you know what is going on right now is just getting worse and worse and worse and it's really sad to know, it's really sad to know that we live in a world where white privilege does exist. You know, the whole George Floyd thing is really saddening me. Um, not just that situation. I mean, there's so many people that it happens to, but I try to never really get involved with the controversy, the back and forth online because it makes me angry. And I don't want to get worked up and angry and, and feed into any of the like racist comments that people make and things like that. I've seen people that are not black trying to stick up for the blacks. And then people will say, you're not black, so you can't 
try to, you know, say I'm sorry or this is wrong, like you have no way, you have no place to speak on it because you're not one of us. And that bothers me too. Why? To a lot of people, I look like I a white girl, you know, that don't know me. You know, I feel like I've been called, I mean, not because of this, but for other reasons, irrelevant to what we're talking about now. I've been called, you know, a sellout to white people. I've been called um, a wannabe black girl. I've been called things, people have asked me if I'm adopted. People have said all kinds of ugly things to me throughout my life growing up because they don't know what I am. And I feel like in a sense, coming from somebody that can pass as white, I think that it would be, I would be upset if someone told me that, you know, if I commented on the, the posts that are out there and someone was like, hey, white girl, don't say nothing because you're not one of us. What do you know? You know, I don't like, what I'm trying to say, I'm saying all that to say, ignorance begets ignorance. You know, sometimes the more you feed into things, the worse it makes the situation. However, I do think there are other ways that YouTubers or anyone with some type of um, social outreach, no matter how small it is, you can find a way to use your platform to do some good, you know, or to try to help the situation going on. You can sign petitions, which I have done. You can donate. Um, you can peacefully protest. You know, the protesting that's going on right now is crazy. I've been getting like news, um, notifications, excuse me, on my phone back home, um, where I'm from in Fayetteville. They're like burning down historical sites. They have a, um, marketplace downtown where I'm from. And, um, it's been there for years. It's like in the center of the town. And it's just, they usually like decorate and do stuff for like the holidays and everything. Everybody knows what it was once upon a time ago. It was a place where they sold slaves. I saw like on a news article that they're, and videos that they are burning it. They're breaking the windows. They're protesting downtown. Just got another notification that the highways here are closed in both directions because of protesters. I'm seeing my friends and, and family in Texas and other places posting that things are getting crazy with the riots and telling their friends and family to be safe. Like, it's insane. There is, you know, I know that people are upset because this keeps happening and it's like nothing is changing, nothing's being done. And I understand that you're angry and want a change and think that maybe this is the way to get the attention, but at the same time, it's hurting. Like, in a time like this especially, where places have been closed or shut down, you know, or people have lost their job. You're like, you're creating more of that. You're making them lose their jobs. You're making them lose money. You know, you're not, you're part of the problem too. Looting is not showing that you're angry and want justice for this man or for anyone. That's just you taking advantage of the situation to go steal a lamp or whatever you saw at Target or wherever, whatever place is being looted. Um, that's just you taking advantage of the situation. That is not you protesting. That is not you showing that you want justice for anyone. Alright, sorry my mom had walked in with the food. And I know she doesn't want to be around her in the video. But hopefully that makes sense, you guys. I just wanted to say all of that in a way to let you know that I do care. And we should all be trying to use our voices, use our platforms to do what we can to make things better, not worse. Okay? Um, don't let don't let people's ignorance or hate or anything else drag you down or bring you to their level, you know, or be become a part of the problem. Use your pro platform, use your voice to be a part of the cure. Okay, so change starts here. Not out there. Change starts here. You know, these things, the racism, the hate and all that, that's taught at home. That's taught at home. So start changing what's inside of you, inside of your home, and then apply that out there. You know, it's really sad to see these videos going around of what has happened. It's really sad to see the ignorance going around about these local store owners and places that are just showing how small-minded they are and the comments they're making. I won't look at it. If I happen to pass by one on my timeline, I will keep going because it's really upsetting. Anyways, I'm going to let that go. I just wanted to get that off my chest and say, sign a petition. Do something that actually helps. Um, I'm going to go so we can have dinner. She's getting in my makeup. I need to wash my makeup brushes. Probably I'll do that tomorrow because I'm not going to do it tonight. 
and I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. I will probably upload this tomorrow. I'll be vlogging tomorrow as well. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you later. Say bye, Chloe. Bye.